Have you ever had or are having issues getting your first layer to stick to your print bed? Well, today I have three solutions that will help you get that ever elusive stick. Nothing about that last sentence sounded right. Hey everyone, I'm Cal from CR Inventions. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm one of four people on this channel. I mostly focus on 3D printing, but if you're interested in tech reviews, biking, airsoft, and more, uh, consider subscribing today. All right, let's get into the tips. As you may have guessed, this is actually one of the most common problems when people are 3D printing, and especially people who are new to it. Fortunately, I've gotten a little bit of experience, especially over the past year, so today I have ways to help you with that. So to start, solution one, and if you have not done this, don't even bother trying the other steps. If you have not done this, don't do the other steps, because it's completely pointless trying to get your prints to stick if your bed is not level. If your bed is uneven, nothing else works. Now I'm going to assume that you already did that. So, you know, for simplicity's sake, I'm not gonna be showing it off in this video, but if you do not already know how to level your bed, you can check out my video on it up here in the top right with the info card. But just keep in mind that a 3D printer needs a nice level bed to print onto. And if you don't have that, then well, that's probably why your prints aren't sticking in the first place. But of course, since you probably already did that, at least I hope you did, let's get into the other two solutions that may help you out. Solution number two is to clean your print bed. Now, if you haven't really been printing for long, you may have not seen the effects of this, but even if you've only printed a few prints, you might notice that it's starting to like turn white on the bottom of the print. And if this is happening, you're definitely gonna wanna start thinking about cleaning it off. Now, cleaning it off is very simple, but first I just wanna show you how dirty the bed gets very easily. No cleaning or anything, just pure scraping. I mean, that's a lot of stuff, really. Like, look at that. I mean, you probably just saw it getting scraped. That's a lot of dust just on the bed that you'll never see. This is surprising, right? Well, the good thing about cleaning your bed is it's very simple. There's only two things you need. One, you need rubbing alcohol, and two, you need an old sock. Now, I'll explain why you need an old sock in a second, but first, what you do is you put the rubbing alcohol onto the sock and just wipe all around your bed. The reason you would, would use an old sock over a paper towel or so is because paper towel can leave like flakes from the towel itself on the bed therefore making it not as clean but with an old sock all the other flakes and whatnot you know you've already had the sock a while so those flakes are going to be gone so they won't be on your bed and if they are the flakes are a lot bigger than a paper towel flake so you can just get them off really easily oh and one nice bonus about using the rubbing alcohol strategy is that it makes your bed a little bit more tacky over time. It's not a huge difference, but it's a nice little bonus because if it's more tacky, it's more likely to stick. So that's nice. So solution number three, the last solution we're gonna be going over in this video is using a glue stick. Now I actually have six of them over here. Of course, you only need one, but what you can do with a glue stick is, well, it might seem obvious. You just rub it on top of the bed. Now there is some danger to doing this. Not like your printer's gonna explode danger, but you're gonna have issues with other elements later, but I'll explain in a second. Using a glue stick is very simple. You just take off the cap and rub the glue around the bed evenly. Now you don't wanna apply like three or four layers or else that's just gonna be an issue. But if you apply one layer, it can help you get your print down and stuck. But there's two issues with using glue. The first one being it's only really a one-time use. And the second one being that it's really only a temporary solution because of it being a one-time use. But it does work, but you have to do one more thing after you're done printing. Whenever you put on glue, it does make the print bed slightly higher. Now, it may not seem obvious to just the naked eye, but when you're talking about 3D printing, that nozzle is only a tenth of a millimeter from the bed, so every layer of glue is gonna make a big difference. This became actually a pretty big issue for me because I would level the corners of my bed just fine, but the middle was so much higher up and I couldn't figure out why. So what I did was I cleaned off my bed, and wow, look, it's all even and much easier to level. So whenever you're done using glue, you're gonna to wanna to use that scraper, scrape it off, clean it with the alcohol wipes, and then your bed will be back to normal. But the glue is a very effective solution considering it is just instant stickiness to your bed. You don't have to do anything else. Anyway, that's today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed or learned something. If you liked the video, consider subscribing because we're almost at a thousand and it would be a big help. And if you want to see some other tutorials or some other 3D printing, or my Ender 3 Pro review or something like that, I have a couple of video cards right here that you can check out. Anyway, I'm Cal from CR Inventions and I will see you in the next video.